Now you've probably heard that anatomy is one of the most difficult subjects in medical school because of that sheer amount of structures and names that you have to memorize. But it's also one of the subjects that you have to have a solid foundation on to get you through medical school. So that's what we're going to talk about in this series of Study Club, our ongoing series where we discuss the tips and tricks on how to study basic sciences subjects in medical school. Now the way you have to think about studying anatomy is you always have to have an atlas beside you when you're reading your textbooks. The atlas serves as a map so you wouldn't get lost when you're reading the textbook and you'll then easily know where that region is, what structures are within it, and what body parts are found around it. So in this video we're gonna go over my top three tips to help make anatomy a little less difficult for you and how to make it more fun. Now, tip number one is to use high yield resources. In terms of recommended textbook you can go with Snell Clinical Anatomy by Regions. Now, personally I recommend this book because it discusses the important structures in chunks or in regions which makes it easier for you to know how certain structures fit together within that specific compartment. And it also has clinical notes which give you the clinical implications of knowing that structure and which helps in remembering them. For mapping out the structures mentioned in the textbook, an atlas such as Netter is very useful. Now I never studied anatomy without an atlas because reading text about anatomical structures without an atlas is like traveling to a place you've never been to before and it's only being described to you through text. Now, you could only imagine how difficult it might be because you would not have any idea what is being talked about. But once you have an atlas and you read through it, by then you would have a clear representation in your mind's eye of the different muscles, bones, ligaments, nerves, etc. And it now becomes easier for you to understand the words in your textbook. Now some students don't like the idea of studying anatomy in a two-dimensional way, which is using books. So what you can do is to use 3D anatomy apps such as Essential Anatomy, which is a paid app. But if you find that too expensive, there's also a bunch of free resources now on YouTube such as Anatomy Zone, which has one of the best videos on anatomy and it's totally free and it shows you how different anatomical structures fit into one another from different planes and perspectives and they also help in visualizing what happens when you add or remove a layer of a particular structure. Also if your medical school already has anatomy cadaver dissections, you should actively participate in the activity so you'll get the feel of how the structures are oriented to each other physically. Now, tip number two is understand first then memorize. When you're studying anatomy, first try to understand what the text is saying so you can grasp its context of why it is important clinically or how you can use it in the real world because after all our main goal in studying is to ask ourselves how these will allow me to become a better doctor. Now say for example you're studying the anatomy of the heart you start with where and how it is positioned in the thoracic cavity and that it has four chambers and then you'll go to the details of the major coronary arteries and veins and then the conduction pathways and then you come across for example the right coronary artery and then you read that it supplies the atrioventricular node and the sinoatrial node. At first you might think why is it important for me to remember that? You'll then see that in the case of studying first aid for the USMLE step one that an RCA infarct may lead to bradycardia and heart block from nodal dysfunction and now it all makes total sense to actually pay more attention in memorizing this bit of information. So basically you first have to learn the foundations of knowledge from the bottom and then you work yourself up from there. Now tip number three is to use memory aids. After you have finally understood the concepts next is committing them to memory. Now when you're remembering anatomical structures it can be very difficult because most of the time their names are like random words and may seem arbitrary and this is where using mnemonics can be helpful. To give you an example, to memorize the divisions of the brachial plexus, I remember it by using the mnemonic Randy Travis drinks cold beer, which stands for the roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. As you can see this page is from the USMLE first aid and I highly recommend using this book to look for mnemonics but you can also make them yourself. What you can also do is to just google and type in whatever it is that you have a difficult time memorizing and you'll see that most of the time somebody has already done the heavy lifting for you. But of course none of these would help you remember things in the long run if you don't test yourself. Now one platform that can help you with testing yourself in anatomy is KenHub which is also recommended by other medical YouTubers. There's a free version and also a paid one so you can check that out. Another website is Teach Me Anatomy which I use if I need to have a quick look for anatomy images on Google. Now what I did when I was in medical school was to get my Netter Atlas and then I would cover the answer to the label diagrams and then I would test myself whether I can remember all the things that I read. And of course, we should also use past exams and sample exams to increase our retention of learned material. If you like this video and you want to know more tips for studying in medical school, check out this video right here where I talked about the things I did to get high scores in medical school. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.